All right, here's one, folks. It's an important one, so look out for this. A bank with $49 trillion in exposure to derivatives is melting down right now in front of our eyes. Could it be possible that we are on the verge of the next Lehman Brothers moment? Deutsche Bank is the most important bank in all of Europe. It has $49 trillion in exposure to derivatives. Here we go again. And most of the largest too big to fail banks in the United States have very deep financial connections to the bank. In other words, the global financial system simply cannot afford for Deutsche Bank to fail. And right now, it is literally melting down in front of our eyes. For years, I have been warning that this day would come. And even though it has been hit by scandal after scandal, somehow Deutsche Bank was able to survive until now. But after what we have witnessed in recent days, many now believe that the end is near for Deutsche Bank. On July 7th, they really shook up investors all over the globe when they laid off 18,000 employees and announced they would be completely exiting their global equities trading business. It takes a lot to rattle Wall Street, but Deutsche Bank managed to. The beleaguered German giant announced that on July 7th, it is laying off 18,000 employees, roughly one-fifth of its global workforce, and pursuing a vast restructuring plan most notably that most notably includes shutting down its global equities business. These moves may delay Deutsche Bank's inexorable march to oblivion, but not by much. As Deutsche Bank collapses, it could take a whole lot of others down with it at the same time. According to Wall Street on Parade, the bank had $49 trillion in exposure to derivatives as of the end of last year. During 2018, the serially troubled Deutsche Bank, which still has vast derivatives footprint in the U.S. as a counterparty to some of the largest banks on Wall Street, trimmed its exposure to derivatives from a notional $48 trillion to a notional $43 trillion euro, $49 trillion in the U.S. dollars, according to its 2018 annual report. A derivatives books of $49 trillion notional puts Deutsche Bank in the same league as the bank holding companies of U.S. juggernauts J.P. Morgan Chase, Citigroup, Goldman Sachs, which logged at $48 trillion, $47 trillion, $42 trillion, respectively, at the end of December 18, according to the Office of Comptroller of Currency. Are you freaking kidding me? Let's pause here. Are you freaking kidding me? They're still playing with derivatives. You're talking about three, uh, about two or three hundred trillion dollars worth of counterparty risk that was supposed to be cleaned up ten years ago, and this crap didn't go away. It actually got worse. Now you want why I talk about the UBI and and a worldwide jubilee? You can't pay this off. One domino like Deutsche Bank can knock over all the rest of them. Anyway, yes, the actual credit risk to Deutsche Bank is much, much lower than the notional value of its derivatives contracts. But we're still talking about an obscene amount of exposure. And this is, as, this is especially true when we consider the state of Deutsche Bank's balance sheet. According to NASDAQ, as of the end of last year, the bank had assets, had total assets of $1.54 trillion and total liabilities of $1.4969 trillion. In other words, there wasn't much equity there at the end of December, and things have deteriorated rapidly since that time. In fact, it has been reported that a billion dollars a day is being pulled out of the bank at this point. I know that most Americans don't really care if Deutsche Bank lives or dies, but as the New York Post has pointed out, the failure of Deutsche Bank could quickly become a major crisis for the entire global financial system. But the important fact to remember is, is that Deutsche Bank traded these derivatives with other financial firms. So is this going to be another Lehman Brothers situation whereby one bank's problems becomes other banks' problems? Pay close attention to this. If this situation gets out of hand, 
the Federal Reserve and other central banks will have no choice but to cut interest rates, even if it's not in the best interest for world economies. In particular, that some of the largest bank, largest too big to fail banks in the United States are heavily interco interconnected financially to Deutsche Bank. As long as I have been doing this, I have been warning my readers to watch global, the global derivatives markets. Yes, so have I. It played a stirring role in the last financial crisis, and it will play a stirring role in the next one, too. The fundamental structural problems that were exposed during 2008-2009 were never fixed. I keep telling you guys that. I told you guys that. We talk about, talk about recovery and recessions. I told you guys that. I told you this was always bullshit. And the fact that the Fed had to cut rates told you that the shit is not fixed. The Bank of International Settlements back in 2009 passed the Basel III, trying to get banks to actually reduce their risk and put the financial architecture back on sound footing. Instead, we got these fake-ass stress tests. Now, we're in the same boat with more holes and more leakage and taking on more water. In fact, many would argue that the global financial system is even more vulnerable today than it was back during that time. And it appears that the next Lehman Brothers moment may be playing out right in front of our eyes. Now more than ever, keep a close eye on Deutsche Bank because it appears that they could be the first really big domino to fall. And this is um, this comes from the Economic Collapse blog. The link will be in the description. And he's got a book, The Beginning of the End. Uh, let's pray to God we make it to 2025. Before this crap implodes. Because the UBI is not ready. The UBI is not ready. Because if they try to declare a worldwide jubilee, which they probably will have to do. If it's done too soon, there's going to be a whole lot of suffering going on. Which is the reason they're automating as fast as humanly possible. A whole lot of reasons behind that I am not even going to go into. Not on a pre-recorded video. It's bad enough I do it on a, a live stream. I'm not going to do it on a pre-recorded video. So I have my thoughts. I have my opinions. And just like most times, man, I hope this shit is not true. I hope to God this is not true. I am too old and too vulnerable for this shit to be true. Even as a young person, you'll be too, too vulnerable for this shit to be true. This is not news for widows and orphans, let's put it this way. And this is not news and no country for old men. This is capitalism run amok. This is a deregulation run amok. All you conservatives need to pull your heads out of your asses and actually come to the table and try to do something to fix this. Instead of pretending like this house of cards is as a house of bricks, and it's not. In this system that collapses, that may collapse, money will not save you. Your job will not save you. Your success could be wiped out overnight. Individualism will not save you if this is true. Now, I hear lots and lots of you dudes talking about business and success and making money and all this kind of crap. Y'all don't even pay attention to this. I hear not one of you Negroes say anything about this. None of you Negroes talk about what's coming. None of you Negroes talk about automation or banking system or what this system actually does and is. You pretend like it doesn't exist, which pisses me the fuck off. You're so smart. You're so successful. You're so everything else. You know every goddamn thing, but you don't even talk about this shit and this shit is right in front of your face you're not out there warning the people which disgusts me conservatism individualism capitalism free trade man, 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 man. this stuff is right in front of your face it already happened it's getting ready to happen again you know what happens when they have to go back to zero interest rates i don't hear none of you guys talking about this shit Zero. Get off your lazy asses.
and start telling the truth. Because I know you have your escape plan ready or what you think is an escape plan. And you're talking happy talk because you want to sell stuff. And when it blows up, then you're going to run. Anyway. Man, I, the door of light can't come fast enough for me. All right. Let me jump off of here before I go into a full-fledged rant. Peace, y'all.